let's talk about Morse Pottery first. Um, because, of course, Mor uh, Morse Pottery was a, a huge uh, icon of uh, Montreal theater. He worked, uh, he was head of um, the center for a long time. But how, what was your experience like with him uh, at the National Theater School? What, what was he like? Morris was very laid back, and uh, sometimes he seemed to be <laughs> mm. somewhere else. His, his world was elsewhere, you know. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. And mm, very sort of, not so much British, but, you know, mm. very quizzical. And he'd thro throw some comments out there that, and chuckle. Hmm. That weren't really insulting, but <laughs> they came <laughs> close to, right? Okay. Yeah. All so right. We got along very well. As a matter of fact, there were times that uh, I've been to Montreal and babysat mm -hmm. while he and Elsa would go out, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of babysat, so, like, how was it? Because when did you have your first child? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wh when I uh, <laughs> applied for theater school, after I'd done the audition, they sent back saying, uh, they can only allow so many people in, but mm. there were so many students that were good that they thought were worthy of coming to school. Mm -hmm. They'd like to know when, what is the latest time I would accept for coming to school. So I mentioned, uh, I think, end of June or July, something like that. Meantime, I had met my, the person who was going to be my first wife. Mm -hmm. And we we're talking about getting married. So married in September. Mm -hmm. So I said the end of June or something like that. July, we hadn't heard from them, so we decided to go ahead and have, get married, small mm -hmm. wedding. But I had told her, if I was accepted to school, I would <laughs> postpone the, the marriage and mm -hmm. go up because Montreal was a strange place. She'd never been there and whatnot, set up right. and whatnot, and see how things went. It so happens, the week after I got married, the letter of acceptance came from the theater school. <laughs> of course, uh, of course. I'm going. Mm -hmm. so she didn't argue with it. There was no question about it because mm -hmm. she knew that's what I wanted. To do. And she went down. So I got down there and um, <coughs> looking for a place to live and whatnot. One night she calls and she said <laughs> she thinks she's pregnant <laughs> because, mm -hmm. because and she went to the doctors. So when I get there, went to school, in June, my daughter was born. Wow. Michelle. Mm -hmm. So they used to call me Papa Bess. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they I called you? I was the you? only person in the school that had a child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there were any before, mm -hmm. and uh, if any since. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was the oh first boy. black to go to the National Theatre School, that's for sure, well, and, and graduate. OK, so let's talk about that for briefly. Uh, were there challenges, uh, uh, were there daily challenges with the staff or anything like that? Were there things you had to deal with that? Well, you, you know, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of challenges come depending on your attitude towards things. Mm -hmm. I used to speak with the French mm -hmm. because I knew a little French and I would parlay a little French and mm -hmm. little English. And mm -hmm. I, uh, the guy who's Locker was next to mine. It was Robert Charlebois. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. It, alphabetically. Right. Hmm. Uh, what was he? Wha and what was he like? As it he was okay. He would just was come it? and do his stuff and mm -hmm. he'd, he'd take out his guitar, guitar and yeah. play and stuff and whatnot and so on. Some huh. of those French, they had a great time. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm, then you had some of the, the the French instructors. What they would do is have French instructors do some of the English classes. Mm -hmm. Paul Hebert was another great man. He mm -hmm. spoke a pipe and uh, hmm. you could see him in certain movies playing a certain type of character. You know, right, so. Yeah. so it was all, then Then you had uh, Donville. He was the, the administ he was the head of the school, okay. James Donville. Yeah. He was also very nice. And Jean-Paul Britt, mm -hmm. who um, his friend was Mexican. Mm -hmm. A Mexican guy in the war ring and so on, but oh, very much a gentleman, you know. Mm -hmm. By and large, I I enjoyed it because I learned so much. Mm -hmm. The thing about going to theater school mm -hmm. or university, any sort of training like that, is that there comes a time mm -hmm. when you can put it all together. Yeah. 
You know why the pieces are there? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, it, I sometimes, but I've learned so much, and I uh, stuff I don't consciously think of. Mm -hmm. And sometimes something will come back to me to help me through a situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know because I've I've been there. Mm -hmm. You know. It's,